90% of the people do not have access to electricity for anything, no electricity at all. Uh, which basically means that they use either kerosene, candles or firewood for lighting. Um, which is hazardous, very poor lighting and so it limits, really limits um, their, the quality of life. Um, solar lights these days have the potential to really uh, step up the quality of life by, by enormous financial savings. People can save up to 30% of their income a year uh, on, or, uh, on, on kerosene. Um, much brighter lights. We have seen study results going up just because of people having brighter light. Um, and far less like kerosene related accidents and, and, and health and respira respiratory problems. So that's basically why I'm trying to address the solar or like the lighting problem in, in Tanzania. What we did the last three and a half years, we have been trying many different ways and it is not very simple. It's not you walk in with a light and everybody says, yeah, that's what we need. You know, there is no real demand because people have never actually thought about the problem. Um, so what we started doing is trying to see like one, how do you frame some, how do you frame lights that people actually say like, that's, that's the number pri a priority I need to invest in. And we linked it up with students and schools. And so basically when we go to students and headmasters, uh, and we tell a student, or, and we tell them like with lights, with this light you study better, it costs about eight dollars. Then at once the whole priority ladder changes, or at least it, like light comes up in the, in the ladder, and people and they're really willing to invest directly in light. We have seen massive like results by this. We have seen that we have on an island, a uh, mafia island in Tanzania, in three days we realized to uh, sell solar lights to 30% of the population on a commercial basis. After we left, there was actually, like t within two months, we, we increased that to 50% by purely commercial sales. So we didn't do anything, the dealers just bought from us and, and customers went to the dealers. Before we came, uh, there was no market. We had the dealers, but there was no market. We went to a dealer and said, do you want my, to sell my nice lights? Uh, and then the dealer is something like, yeah, but you know, there's nobody asking for these things. And now we go to a dealer and say, I have a light, I have 500 customers lining up, why don't you start selling it? And it's changed the perspective of selling solar lights. So we're now basically developing that, that, that campaign uh, throughout Tanzania initially, and we're, we're setting that up. Yeah. No kerosene in uh, Tanzania for lighting and preferably the rest of the world as well. There's still a long journey to go, but we're trying to get it right in Tanzania. <laughs>basically solar lights these lights are very small and and it's a very nice entrance into for for students but what i said the other 20 percent are like the, the increase to 50 percent on mafia island for example where all more expensive products that could also charge phones and because people from there on they start accepting the solar id and they start up first of all saving money and by that and they see the value of solar quicker and they're willing to invest in, in, in solar. So basically it is a very, it's an introduction to solar which solves a direct immediate problem but really gets people to invest better in, in renewable energy for their, or basically just energy because that's the question number one for most people. I've been working on getting the solar out in Tanzania for the last five and a half years, uh, but this technology is of really small lights with, with very efficient LEDs is a technology of, I would say like the last three years it's really picking up. And the technology is actually enabling us to do it at this cost. I mean, three years ago you could not get a light for eight dollars that gave you eight hours of brilliant light. Um, now we can. And so basically it is really like that we can really scale it up this fast is a, is a recent technology change. Yeah. Topic Forum is always a very nice way to uh, break open your mind and, <laughs> and basically uh, see what else is going on in the world, get plenty of interesting and, and motivational stories and um, reframe your thinking on, on how you are doing it. Every year you go home with a different perspective on where you, how you were working on things. I hope I am and I hope and at the same time I am able to get a lot from it here as well.